Information now. New concerns about police protocol tonight after the deadly standoff at a Brooklyn Jewish Center. Has the political climate caused officers to hesitate before they act? CBS2 political reporter Marsha Kramer has the story. Drop the knife. Dramatic video of an ultimately fatal standoff between an NYPD cop and a knife wielding man at a Brooklyn Jewish Center, earning praise for the patience demonstrated by the officer. I think that's ex extraordinary uh, restraint and extraordinary. Um above and beyond anything that's required. Eugene O'Donnell, a former NYPD officer, now a professor at John Jay College of Criminal Justice, struck by the officer's actions, repeatedly demanding that the man drop his knife, at one point holstering his gun, only drawing it again after the man goes for the knife a second time and lunges at him. <laughs> So the New York City Police Department, I recognize. But watching the video, raising another question. If the cop waited too long, possibly endangering his own life and those of other bystanders, out of fear his actions would be criticized in the current political atmosphere, which is decidedly anti-cop. They don't have automatic protection. Uh, there's no legal uh, shield that they have. They can, every time they use force, they can be indicted, they can be prosecuted, and there's no automatic protection. The protests about the lack of an indictment in the Eric Garner chokehold case, topic A for NYPD officers, O'Donnell says, informing the actions and reactions of cops these days. They're human beings who are totally aware of the political climate, and the officers are trying to stay out of situations where they can be uh, criminally charged, get themselves into trouble. William Bratt and backing the actions of the cops in the Jewish Center incident, where 49-year-old Calvin Peters used a nine-inch blade to stab student Levy Rosenblatt. The actions of the officers are more than justified based on the dangers that they and seven other individuals faced in that basement of that building. Well, Mayor de Blasio, who as recently as last week was criticized by the Patrolmen's Benevolent Association for throwing cops under the bus, had nothing but praise for the cops involved. He said they responded quickly and prevented more people from being injured. We thank them for their service, he said.